So some might argue that any difference in health is unjust, and so that might mean just looking at simple things like life expectancy between men and women in Canada, there's a difference there. Just because there's a difference, we think it's unjust. Uh, we might more facetiously think if I have a cold and you don't, that there's a difference in health there and any difference in health is unjust. But more commonly, we would suggest that differences in health are unjust if those differences in health are caused by socially controllable causes. And typically that looks like differences in educational attainment, uh, in getting jobs, job security, or in social phenomena like racism or sexism or colonialism and other sorts of forms of oppression that lead to differences in health. And so there's an intimate link between health equity and the social determinants of health. You can't really talk about health equity without getting into those social determinants.